tell us where you work. I work in the Traverse City Post Office, more specifically the Barlow Branch. Your boss told you and your colleagues something that shocked you this morning. What was it? We were issued a directive this morning to collect any ballots we find in mailboxes, collection boxes, just outgoing mail in general, separate them at the end of the day so that they could uh, hand stamp them with the previous day's date. Today is November 4th, for clarification. Who is your boss, and what is his title? Jonathan would be a direct supervisor, yes. Uh, as of right now, he is the opening supervisor for the Barlow Branch Post Office. So I, and this is anecdotal, uh, carrier down in another office said they watched the postmaster doing it. Um, if it were just a typical day, it would be clerks doing it up at the distribution center. So 8 p.m. Election Day, November 3rd. Uh, the Court of Appeals uh, ruled ballots have to be received by that time. And and what were you told? To separate them today so they could mark them with yesterday's date and send them through the express system to wherever they needed to go. This appears to be an attempt to circumvent Michigan law and allow late votes. And uh, you said there was a hamper where letter carriers were supposed to leave their ballots. Where are the ballots now? They were putting them into express bags to go to the distribution center. In regards to a uh, hamper, there was a standard hamper that all letter mail was supposed to go to, and they had a tub next to it that we were supposed to put any ballots collected today into. Yes. What made you come forward? Uh, that's sketchy. <laughs> I don't like sketchy. It screams corruption. Uh, also, knowing the post office's leanings politically, it, it didn't seem quite right. What is your message to other postal workers who see things like this? Report it. Report it. How are we supposed to have any integrity in this country if we... We're just going to let things slide based on a scaling issue. Are you afraid of retaliation against you? Uh, I've had whistleblower policies backfire on me in the past, so yes. We'll have to reach out to Jonathan Clark for comment. Hey, is this Jonathan? Yes. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm a reporter with Project Veritas and James O'Keefe here, and I have, a, I have information that you guys have been stamping ballots with the previous date, November 3rd. You just have to he just hung up. He just hung up the phone on me.